Kara. Good morning, and it's Aquarius season, just like that. And the cap in me is sort of like, too bad. Too bad it had the, too bad that, I don't know. I feel like Capricorn season just sort of whizzed by, and um, I, I, don't, I can't tell if I feel like I've gotten everything I've, I could have out of it. But it definitely shook some things up for me. And last night I tried to record a video three times. And each time some sort of technical difficulty came up. Um, like I got I think through like 40 minutes of a video and then it something died. And then I tr tried to do another video. Something else died. Like my, my, my gear. So what does that really mean? I don't know. Even that reading I did, I it was very struggle bussy, I'll say. But, did I just say bussy? I did. So, you're welcome. We're going to do something totally different for now. I might do another reading later, but um, I'm remembering how much I love the Illuminated Love Oracle deck. I got this in Portland at Psychic Sisters, the store, on a total whim. I sort of went there thinking I would pick up one deck. It was really cool. It was based on the um, periodic table of elements. And then I got there and I sort of picked it up and I was like, yeah, I don't know about this. And um, this deck, which I paid no attention to online because it was sold out, was the la very last deck that I had I had picked up. There were maybe dozens, honestly, and I picked it up and if you know, you know. You pick it up, and, and so this, this deck speaks to me. My favorite thing about it, besides the rainbow back and gilded edges, is the magnificent artwork of all of these cards, which are really, they herald back to sort of like the alchemical photographic process of emulsion and films and um, chemicals, um, raw materials, and I have no idea how she did this, but the artist is just fantastic. There's there's three ladies who made this, the Illuminated Love Oracle. So anyway, I digress. This five, the five pointed spread, the star that's here. I like to use it as a um, calibration tool if you will so like maybe I'll do these once a month maybe I'll I'll do them on the um, on the cusp of the zodiac signs or, or whatever but the idea here is to see what energy is available to the collective what are we really working with and how can we best utilize it um, etc etc so this is a very vibratory, vibratory, vibra vibration centric, um, frequency centric, love centric deck. This isn't going to tell you anything about the details of your life, but it is going to tell you how you feel or what energies you might be picking up on that are beneath the surface. This is subconscious stuff. This is very ethereal, I'll say. And so, without further ado, I, I went ahead and I, I pulled all the cards. Oh yeah. I'm going to tell you about the, the positions here. We have um, one, the radiant darkness. The beginning and the end of all things. The point that all energy moves through now. We have welcome home. This is an attunement card. There's four different card types in this deck. This one is an attunement card. The vibratory exploration of the individual and unification as a whole. Something so inherent that in your searching you may have overlooked what has been here all along. This is about overlooking home, residing in our ever-present now through an attempt to hold on to past experiences or control future unfoldings. Be gentle as you surrender your search. Conditions of future past are deeply ingrained. Still, stillness is what is called for here. <laughs> stillness is what is called for here when the unconscious trance of time arises, 
allow this awareness of time to be the miracle that reveals the present moment and with a kind and loving embrace welcome yourself home once more so right away the attunement that's happening is get into your body get into your breath your body be in the present moment now this is also about releasing expectation releasing control surrendering any attachment to outcomes uh, worries regrets things like that I do feel like this card embodies totally what's going on in the rest of the spread which is very exciting so I'll, I'll we'll, we'll talk more about that um, also look up north node Taurus like that that shift that's happening right now because everything and and the Venus retrograde and the north node Taurus this is all making perfect sense with the energy that has been of late as in questions like what do you value what what is what what is valuable to you what in your inherent nature are you sort of um, guided towards because we're really meant to sort of align ourselves with those things now um, and this is also getting about getting into your body and getting into the sensations and welcoming all of your feelings um, as a as a significant and and a, a part of yourself that makes you whole so that's gonna be sort of this whole this whole theme we have four more cards so let's keep going the next card is sacred union oh yeah I love the art on that so the second position is the impulse of creation what's asking to be expressed right now this is an activation card meant to amplify our true nature a call to live as embodied evolution embodied evolution um, new receptors and frequencies all right in this realm of sensual pleasure sorry not sensual pleasure that's that I just revealed one of the cards sacred union sacred union is the impulse of creation we dare to authentically inquire into the truth of our existence we remember self and others as unique individual expressions we create sacred ground upon which to enter intimate relationships both within and without open to the fullest experience of self in relationship to all things this tantric experience is what is available to us and asking to be expressed keyword tantric it shows up again a couple times in this reading and this idea of home and this idea of individuality and self and the individual as a whole as well as um, this something about this fullest experience experiencing all of the senses not suppressing not repressing but just simply allowing the energy to flow okay number three humility divine feminine aspect how to receive support during this time or an area of life that needs uplifting this card is an invitation it's an invitation card so the energy of it is a welcoming into realms of love within and without supporting us to navigate the essential substance of our being humility the beginner's mind rest easy into the unknown free of attachment into free of attachment to an idealized unfolding peace enters when we surrender notions or expectations non-resistance is an act of humility this is about handling situations that turn out very different than what we expect or want release need and want and live as an instrument of grace and love in service to our interconnected humanity humility the divine feminine aspect there so next we have the divine masculine also an invitation card remember I said there were four types of cards in this deck what I love is that each of the um, 
there's one of each, but there's five cards. And so the divine masculine and the divine feminine aspects here, which are the, sort of the wings of the star, are both invitation cards. I just love when things sort of arrange themselves very neatly, either symmetrically or asymmetrically, but in some pattern. It's always there if we look for it, I guess. The divine masculine. Here we go. Focus, focus. There you are. Compassionate presence. So again, this is the divine masculine, the aspect available for support, activating energy in your life. Compassionate presence. There is room for all of it. You are infinitely held and supported by universal and unconditional love. This is an invitation to expand your compassionate heart, to welcome home all aspects of yourself more fully and embrace the divine human that you are. Take a deep breath. Remember a time of separation. With your breath and intention, take this into your loving awareness and offer a steady, loving presence as you welcome this aspect home. So the Divine Masculine definitely wants to hold space um, for working through any discomfort as this wave sort of comes and washes over you, um, as you experience maybe new things, new, new sensations, new feelings of, of what's being asked to be, um, I don't want to say resolved, but just uh, recognized within you. There's new, like I said, there's possibly new receptors, new new activations within you occurring. And it's really, I guess, this month, the Aquarius season, Aquarius is about the, is the humanitarian, the innovator, the The, yeah, the, the energy that really considers collaborative effort and like for the greatest good. And so what's happening is I think we are being asked to acknowledge our own place within the interconnectedness of, of all the things. And it might not be what you want or expect of yourself, of where you are meant to be. So... The Divine Masculine says there is room for all of it. Okay, there's room for all of it. So, uh, yeah, release and release expectations, needs and wants, desires. For this to be a more, I'll say, smooth transition, a smooth awakening. So let's go on to the to the last card, which is the manifest, the outcome, the wisdom, the resolution. This is an empowerment card, and I, I gave this away earlier, but it's sensual pleasure. <laughs> empowerment. The bridge between unmanifest and manifest. What inspires our readiness is sensual pleasure. Remember I said tantric is going to show up a bunch here? It's about getting into the sensation of the body. Doing what feels good, not avoiding the things that feel good. This is about pleasure as a birthright, pleasure as a pleasure as something that exists in all things. So I'm gonna let you look at this card again for a second, but I'm gonna put it down. Isn't it beautiful? I love the art. Here's what it says: Live lusciously. Get in your body and experience fully all the senses. This is meant to help you into a deeper experience and exploration of self. The sensual play of sensation through matter, a wave penetrating particle form, tastes, smells, textures, the way pleasure reverberates and undulates. All life is tantric, from the sexual, sensual energies that create gateways to deeper level of consciousness to a footstep caressing the ground. Raindrops become a delicious touch. Even from a distance, we feel subtle pulsations of leaves as they release from the trees and dance to completion. Take it all in, 
every interaction, all relationships on this earthly plane and beyond. Allow them to stimulate the pleasure of being truly, fully alive. Yeah, so that's our illuminated love oracle attunement for the Aquarius season, y'all. Um, I hope you like it. Let's let's do a quick uh, showing of the art. Go out and do something today that makes you feel alive. Alive. I don't know if I'll put a song on this one, but if I did, it's down in the description. Um, like, share, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. <laughs>